What's up everybody? I'm Getty. Welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero. Now, in this episode, we're going to try to cure the frozen leviathan. So, we made some progress in the last one, found a big leviathan, and also find kyanite. Now, I found nickel. It was down in the red zone. Kind of boring. It was just me running around with my little mineral detector, picking it up, picking it up as I went. Now, I did make the final depth modules for the sea truck and the prawn suit. So the sea truck can go to a thousand meters, prawn suit can go to 1100, both of which I think is too shallow. But this time we're not taking the prawn suit with us on land. What we're going to do is we're going to take the hover bike as soon as I can build it. Mm. Find a good spot for it. Uh, uh, come on now. Let me build. There. Boom. Now, this pad is important. This pad heals the hover bike, but it also lets you do something. Charge it. Charge it. I knew I'd remember this a second. Uh, now, our hover bike. We don't need to build another one. Our hover bike. Boom. It is now painted, custom, and it's got the jump module in it. Now, I chose jump module because I think jump will come in a lot more handy than worm, but I'm not sure. Now, I could be proven wrong later whenever the worms attack and destroy it, but for now, we're at least going to attempt to use the jump module. Doesn't jump very high, but who knows? One good thing about the hover bike that I noticed is, I don't know if it's just because I had this, the heat suit on, but even with the suit on, I gradually get cold. See, my temperature is going down slowly, but with the hover bike, I stay warm. So I don't know if it's heated or what, but who knows. So now, we're going to head towards Firebase and then don't cross the bridge. That's where we messed up last time. Don't cross the bridge. <laughs> it's be a lot faster than walking around on the prawn suit. That is for sure. If I don't crash and destroy it or get eaten by a death worm. Alrighty. Here's five base. Ooh. Kind of curious if this thing takes fall damage. Find out. Okay, I don't know if that was just fall damage or if I hit something. Probably fall damage. So, we gotta be careful. It's very fragile. <laughs> so, now that we've made it to Firebase, we've got to follow this left-handed path, and we're gonna follow Sam's notes here. Now, if we follow the left path, come on down around and maybe the bottom left corner the one that's got the circle tingling that might be where we could find the antidote not sure but we're gonna at least attempt it let's go up and look uh, I also brought the headlamp for this just in case we need to look around got a cave area uh -huh. I think we got a snow stalker. Okay, I don't think this is the right area. I don't believe so. Maybe we should go on around. Uh, I think we need to go at least to the end of this little ice. Okay, here. Whoa. Oh my goodness. Let's don't break it. There's a lot here. All right, so let's look. Usually, usually the pingling, spy pingling areas have a little light flashing and it beeps when you're close. Uh, let's see. Maybe we should go on around. It shows it's right before you get to the purple tree area, so. 
Ooh. These icicles falling down, they're gonna break me. Okay, I think. Still red tree area. Or did we just go in a circle? We went in a circle. Alrighty. That's annoying. Okay, now this is the the little dock area. So maybe perhaps that's a, a dock down there. Maybe that's the water. And if so, that means we need to go. Um wherever we go, we gotta be careful about it. I'm not jumping this thing and breaking it. I say that now, but you wait. I will jump this thing off something accidentally and break it. Sort of think maybe I should have brought the death worm module instead of the jump module. Okay. Very carefully. Alrighty. Oh, there's usually a snow stalker down here. Excuse me, penguin. Ooh, don't drop. Oh, he about went off, didn't we? Alright, there's a snow stalker up there, so let's pack up the, the hover bike. And walk. Let's see. Uh. Let's see. Hmm. Alright, snow stalker. No, you don't. Leave me alone. Leave me be. Uh, water comes this way. The baby penguin. All right now, this is ice here. It says under some kind of like. Oh no 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 no! <laughs> get off of me! Oh, you butthole! Get off! No! Button! My goodness! Oh, he's coming again! No 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 no! I'll jump in the water. That's right. That's right. Oh, he gets in the water too, huh? Oh, you cheater. Oh, he's coming. Man, why is he after me still? Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, we got a problem. I didn't bring my sea glide. <laughs> I thought this was going to be all on land. It's all right. We'll go around. We will go around. Cave. Cave, cave, cave. Ooh. Ladder? Uh. Huh. What we got here? Just supplies. I don't need supplies. Ooh, a flare. Now, flares, I thought were useless. You could actually use them to deter snow stalkers. Ooh, water. I don't need water. Fiber mesh. Ooh. PDA. Stock up on flares. Yeah. If you want to read that, there it is. Uh, I'm guessing it's saying exactly what I just said. Flare scare snow stalkers. Maybe the pinglings, knowing Sam, liked pinglings. Maybe they'll show me. Look there. Hey, baby pinglings. Okay, well, let's just look around then. <laughs> All the baby pinglings. Okay, let's look around back here then. Like I said, I'm listening for a beep. Hoping I don't run into a roar. Like that. Snow stalker den, huh? I don't see a spot for a spy pingling to go. Just look around. Get over there, big guy. Oh, no, no. There's no sprint button, so... <laughs> Stay over there. Hmm. I don't think there's anything in here. It's kind of strange that there would be a snowstalker den right on the other side of the pingling cave. 
Hmm. All right. I don't know if this is the spot or not. Just keep looking, I guess. See, I'm not as brave without my prawn suit, because... Oh, no, you don't. Go. Hope this thing works. Get. Go on. That's right. <laughs> they are indeed scared of the flare. Be afraid. I need to go that way, buddy. See, I've been in here before. This was the... Let's this loops back around to that pingling cave. No. I've been here. I've already sent a spy pingling in this one. Huh. Maybe I missed something. I don't know. Let's look and see. We brought the guy with us. Put him right there. Here you go, buddy. Put it down. Okay. And then there. Click. Alrighty, here we go. I don't, I don't want a camera. Stop. No. Kind of frustrating. Once again, I can't see very well, so... I wish Sam would have made a better light on these things. Uh, quartz. A ramp up. Uh, more quartz. Nothing. Yeah, there's nothing up here. No. This thing don't jump. So, I mean, what's here is here. Nothing but quartz in this one. Hmm. So, this one is not our guy. It's not our man. So. What's this? Water purification. I and mean, I brought some water with us, but we'll take it. And some snow. And use that. I mean, it just makes water for us. Then we can drink some water and eat some food. So now, running around is really going to wear us out. Huh. Alright, so it was not this cave, huh? Let's go back through. Scare the stalkers off again. Looks kind of like a little overpass. And if so... Ow. <laughs> this way? We found one. Yeah, buddy. Oh, that looks treacherous. Need to drop the fingling first. That's kind of frustrating. They make you do it in two steps. Alright. Put him down. Up. Then the remote. Dangerous weather approaching. Seek yeah, shelter. Yeah. Alright. Ooh. Ah ha ha! What do we got here? <gasps> Oop! Pick up the antidote. To stash this here. Hey! Now Sam might be dead, but we're at least going to finish her work, and that's getting rid of the Kara virus for good. All right, little guy. Can I not pick you up? Okay, in it out. Can I pick him up? No. Nope. Oh, he might not be outside enough yet. How about that? Yes. All right. That's a steam vent. Let's warm up a little bit. So we have the antidote. An injectable container of antibacterial agent. Sweet. So now... That just means that we need to go back to where the frozen Leviathan was and fix him. So, bicycle, hoverbike, 
Uh, we're gonna fix it real quick. Hopefully we can fix it. Yes. Alright. I don't know exactly which way to go. I gotta go right, I believe. Yeah, by robotics is this way. Okay. What in the world? Uh. Ooh, let me in. Thank you. Huh. What is this area? I've been here before? Sounds like snow stalkers. Um. Maybe not. Fiber mesh, don't need that. Is that lubricant? Don't need that. Uh eh, first day, we'll take it. Huh. It's just a little, uh, storage area, huh? That's not helpful. I don't know why it always sounds like snow stalkers. Like, no matter where I go or what I get into. Ooh, squeeze through. Yep. Here we go. All right, so we need to go south east to get out of this little area. South east is that way, so we need to go around. At least I hope that's right. Got to jump. Ooh, it's a little wobbly. <laughs> Ouch! Man, I clipped something. Knock me down to 71! This thing is... N I know why there's fragments of this thing everywhere now. Oh, I hope I'm going the right way. Can't hardly see nothing in this snowstorm. Uh, that snowstalker den. There's one right behind me. I do not know if this thing... Whoops. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> I don't know if this thing floats on water, but it's a hover bike. So maybe. Uh -huh. Back towards the truck should be back towards the bridge, which is what we need to cross. Fifty-one health already. I'm getting kind of worried. I haven't heard any death worms, but then again, they could just be on the other side. And this thing doesn't need to jump. It takes way too much damage when it falls to jump. Uh, what? How was I supposed to avoid that tree? Man, done got this thing almost destroyed and I even barely even used it. I did put an ion battery in it, but it looks like it was a waste of a battery because I'm going to wind up breaking this thing. Alright, so... We made it through the purple tree zone finally. Now we get to this little area. I'm hoping this is the correct path. Because if not, that means I gotta go all the way back. Not as bad with the hover bike. At least you can kind of maneuver it around. But still, I really hope this is the right way. Yes, because that was Parvin. Oh, thankfully we're in the right zone. Whew. Now this video, I'm not sure if it's going to be a longer video or a shorter video, but I just really wanted to do this particular thing. I know in the last ones we've been working towards Alan, and I've collected all of the resources we need except for one Kyanite, but I'll get that shortly before we start the next episode. And then hopefully... We'll be able to find his medical facility. Now, that's deep. The zone that we were in with all the crystals, it's deeper than that. So I had to come back and get resources for upgrades to go deeper. Because I'm not swimming freestyle, free dive down there. Mm -mm, I'm taking something with me. So, now, we're going to cure the Kara virus. Yeah, buddy. One thing to note before I cure him. In the first game, not to spoil the ending, but it released the antidote into the water around to cure all the fish and everything involved in it, everything that touched it. So I'm curious now why they can't just take some of that water 
and splash it on the Leviathan to cure him. Like, I don't know if you have to be alive for it to work. I don't know. Begin the injection. Ooh. He ain't gonna come alive, is he? I believe oh. the antibacterial <gasps> agent was effective. Huh. Without it, the bacteria could have spread. Now it cannot. Your sister's memory will live in you through this gesture. It feels good. Doing this one last thing for Sam. I feel like I got some closure. My people do not experience endings as you do. Do humans feel joy in realizing that you've reached the end of something? Sometimes. Huh. Closure is a sense of resolution. Like... Knowing that even though it still hurts, it'll be okay. I did what I came to do. I found out what really happened to her, and I got to finish her work. I learned a little bit more about the person I've looked up to for, well, my whole life. I wish I'd told her that more. Sam always wanted to make a difference. She wanted the bacteria contained to keep everyone safe. I'm grateful to give her that. I just wish I could have said goodbye. Wow. So that's the ending to Sam. Hmm. Well, at least we got some kind of closure out of it. We cured the big frozen guy. Now, at least in the next game, when he comes alive and kills everybody, he won't die from a natural disease. Thank goodness we got involved. <laughs> Alrighty. Got a couple of green specks, but I guess if he is alive, they go away. Well, we did that part. I'm gonna take that wiring kit with me. Yeah, we don't need that one. We'll take that and this glass this time. So, we cured the Leviathan. We finished Sam's storyline. Uh, it doesn't really do justice to all the people that died in the process. I mean, the whole team. We still don't know what happened to Fred, because he's my hero. He's the original person that found this. He was just a sea truck driver, running for his life, fell through a hole, and then found this place. That's when Altera got involved. It's funny. But I guess that's the way it goes sometimes. Now, we don't know what happened to Ivan or Parvin. I, I don't know. There's just so many questions that need answered. But at least we know for, I guess, as best as we can, the memory of Sam is at least she destroyed the coronavirus finally. But it leads me to ask the question. This is just one frozen Leviathan. And it's of a class that we've never seen before. So does that mean that there are other frozen leviathans? I, I don't know. Because, I mean, we thought that the reapers and the ghost leviathans in the first game were the biggest things we'd seen. But now, we I mean, originally we thought that the whole planet was just full of water. There was no land other than a handful of islands. Because the first game takes place, there's an underwater volcano so the whole area we play in is the middle of that inactive volcano and that's why just outside is a dead zone where everything is massive we could never go there but now here we are on an ice cap in the middle of nowhere and there's even bigger creatures including leviathans that are bigger than we've ever seen and they can go on land it's crazy but we gonna use our little teleporter to go back to the sea truck Boy, this thing's handy. I don't have to walk back now. It takes a little bit, but it, it's it's a lot faster than walking or driving the hover bike. Alrighty. Now we are back on the sea truck. And this is where I'm going to end this one. We did what we set out to do. We cured the Kura virus. Finally. We put a rest to Sam's memory. Sorry this isn't going to be a little bit short. I really wanted to get this done before we jump off into finishing Alan's storyline because I believe that once we build Alan's body, that is the end of the game. Like, that will trigger the events 
that will finish the game for us. We'll find the facility, build the body, and that'll be maybe our last episode, the next episode. Now, if there's anything that people want me to do in the game, I still enjoy playing it. There's lots of collectibles to find. There's fish eggs to find. There's a lot of things to do. And I I like the game. I love it. I love it. I hate deep water, but I love the game. So if there are things or suggestions you would like, leave them in the comments below. I will read them and I will try my best to do them before we finish the game. Now, I hope everybody's enjoying the content. If you are, please consider leaving a like and a subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Uh, if you have suggestions for other games for me to play, leave them in the comments below. I've had quite a few for Stranded, uh, Resident Evil 7, Biohazard, um, and a couple other scary games. So if people want me to play more scary games, I definitely will. But I hope you enjoy the content, and I hope to see everybody in the next one.